Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the next segment. Um, so we just defined our ge overall geometry, geometric shape here with uh, our section and our material. Um, as per the original problem in my YouTube video, we're going to compare the results. So um, now I said we wanted to get some support react or some supports in. So go to the support tool in the uh, modeling tools bar, select it. And now we want to put one at number one, number two, and number four, right? And if we look back, we can see that we had a pin, a pin, and a fixed. So support four, we can leave as it is, but support one and support two, we need to make some adjustments. So we gotta have this highlighted, the support tool highlighted in your modeling tools bar, and then right click on the support, go to properties. And remember, if you don't have this selected and you right click on the support, it's not gonna bring it to the support properties, right? Okay, so Go to the X, Y, and Z degrees of freedom. Remember, we've discussed this before. If you're not sure what those mean, go back to my previous videos and we, and you'll get a better understanding. So we know that the Z degree of freedom is the moment rotation. And uh, for a pin support, we know that is gonna be free because a pin doesn't resist any moment. And at one and support number two. So select this in the dropdown and go free and free. Okay, there we go. Pin, pin, and fix. Our supports are done. And now let's throw some loads on there. So we gotta change tabs now. Um, from the geometry uh, modeling tools bar. Now we want to have our loads modeling bar, right? And we want to put some joint loads on there because in our original problem, we had a 50 kilonewton force right and a 100 kilonewton force going down all on the same node number three. And you can see this is node number three. I've got them displayed on and off. Perfect, great. Now let's put a joint load tool, good. Joints up top on the data bar. It's joint number three. Let's do the X force first, magnitude of 50 kilonewtons. Okay, there we go, see it shows up. And now for the second load, we wanna still keep it at joint number three, but you see where it says direction? We wanna change from the X force to the Y force. And you'll notice now that the horizontal force that we had just put on joint number three, it's disappeared because only the Y forces are gonna show when we have the Y force direction selected. So now if I click back on the X-Force direction, it came back. So it's not saying it's not there. It's just only displaying the current selected force direction that you have. So let's go to Y-Force and we want negative 100. And remember, I've got kilonewtons. You can change these units to whatever problem you want, but the problem stated kilonewtons, so I'm gonna leave my units as kilonewtons. Press okay, there we go. So now we got the negative 100 kilonewtons. 